Guys, I can tell you that this is a very chaotic and very heartbreaking incident. You're looking at the grim aftermath of that very deadly incident. We're going to try to be as respectful as we can because, as you guys can see, off in the distance, there are still those people who lost their life here. Again, there's a lot of mangled cars and debris scattered all over the road. Chaplains are here and more are on the way. Some of the images from the wreck are too graphic to show you. It's unclear what happened based on preliminary information. We can say that King County Sheriff's Office telling Fox 13 speed may have been a factor. It's too early to tell which car may have been at fault, but those 911 calls started coming into deputies and fire departments around 1243 for a crash like you guys mentioned on 192nd and 140th. When first responders arrived, they were faced with devastation. A total of four cars involved. Firefighters rushed in calling a mass casualty incident to get additional resources here, including firefighters from Renton and King County's Medic One. Here's a breakdown of how they tackled everything to get those people to safety. We get on scene and we do a triage of all the patients uh, de 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 uh, sorry, to determine you know, their severity of injuries. And, and then as we uh, extricate those victims, those patients, we bring them out of the vehicles. Uh, we, will, um, we will also then re-triage them. And unfortunately, uh, due to um, the uh, complexity of, of this accident. Uh, we had some that we felt were, were um, um, red or critical patients that unfortunately died at the scene. Now the latest update is that three other people were rushed to the hospital in critical condition and one other person suffered minor injuries. Officials have not said if those hurt are related or how old they are. Right now their main focus is this ongoing investigation and trying to figure out exactly what happened. But as you guys can see, this is a major um, road between Renton and Kent, so you can expect this road to be closed for the next several hours. Officials are urging anyone in the area that traffic is going to be congested, so if you can please avoid the area they're also asking anyone who may have seen something to make those calls into the King County Sheriff's Office call and of course detectives and investigators will give you guys a call back as this investigation unfolds we're gonna stay on top of this and continue to monitor and bring you the very latest as the situation unfolds for now live in Renton Alejandro Guzman Fox 13 News